Um, let me just ask you before we get into the season. There was another coach. He was here for two weeks. Yeah. What happened there? Do you know? Well, he uh, he had some health dis- issues and some uh, some family issues that he had to take care of um, that didn't allow him to come here. And so, you know, of course, that was a shock to a lot of people, especially the kids and the staff. But um, I think administration jumped on it pretty quick, and uh, we were able to. We we had to do a lot of damage control there for a little while, but I think they uh, they really jumped on it, and we were able to form a plan for spring practice and and have a quick turnaround, so we didn't really miss very many steps. I was asked on Monday. We told the kids on Tuesday, and we started spring practice Wednesday. Mm. So yeah, we did a, a ton of work in 24 hours. Now, is uh, being a head coach something you strive for, or was this just like, okay, I'll do it because you need me, or? It was always the one of the goals, mm-hmm. you know, and um, being athletic director and head coach. And to be honest with you, and you know, I've told many people this, my career goal actually was to be head coach at Georgetown High School, even before I got here. Um, a few years ago, I was listening to Dr. Pringle on uh, one of the radio morning radio shows, and she was talking about you know all different things with Georgetown County, and I I told my wife that day that I want to be at Georgetown for some reason, Georgetown High School. And where were you at at that time? I was at Pamplico High School. At you're at Pamplico, and your goal was to be here. My goal was to be here. Now, I thought it would be about 10 more years down the road, and all of a sudden now I'm here. So um, I got to it a little bit faster than I thought I would be able to just because of how everything worked out. But everything happens for a reason. Mm-hmm. I don't, you know, I'm glad I'm in this spot. This is my career goal, but I'm here for these kids. I'm not here for to set myself up for something else. My plan is to retire here. That's my plan. As long as they'll have me here, I'll be here coaching. And I'm hoping that... Well, now, you look like a young guy, so that's going to be a long career. I hope so. I yeah. hope so. I told uh, I told some kids, you know, I, whenever Paul and Brett and these guys have their kids coming on the team, I want to be coaching their sons. You know, that, wow. that's, my, that's my plan. Okay, so let's talk about the season now. I mean, uh, you've been... Now, how many returning players do we have this year? Surprisingly, we have... Some good returners. We got Brett that's returning, Paul that's returning, Ishmael, uh, Taylor. Um, where we're where we're lacking some of our returners is on the uh, offensive line. Um, we got Harrison who played some last year. He's going to be our right tackle so far. We got uh, Stefan Manigault. He's our uh, right guard. Um, Jukai played JV last year. Um, ben played JV last year, and then we got Ryan Drayton, of course. Um, still got Isaiah who's back. You got Naeem who's back, and we in our key positions we got returners. The only problem is behind them is a bunch of new faces. Mm-hmm. So that's what we're that's our that's our goal and has been our goal all summer and spring is to build that depth. Um, everybody looks good against air. You know, everybody looks good in seven on seven, but that doesn't that's not what wins ranks. And so, um, you know, 7-on-7 seven seven and the practices have been great. I, I think, honestly, we've probably had better practices this summer than I've seen in a while. Um, we've had a, a great weightlifting program. Our uh, strength coach, uh, Coach Coleman, he's been dynamite in the weight room. And so we've gotten a lot of good work in. And so now it's our job starting tomorrow to take all that work and translate it onto the field. Explain, uh, how did that tradition come about, a, a midnight practice? I mean, wh- how did that start? Do you know? Bradley Adams had that idea, uh-huh. and uh, Coach Cribb thought it was a great idea, and I think it's a great idea, too. You know, we start at 8, we practice for a while, we shut it down, we feed them, and then we wait until midnight. And then at midnight, we can practice again because it's a new day. And so we practice again. And then you don't, the kids don't have to come back over the weekend. You get to spend time with your family over the weekend, and you knock out two practices. Well, what is a practice season like between now and football, the first football game? Well, we're actually going to switch it up a little bit. We're going to practice in the mornings to start out with. That way we're not fighting uh, you know, afternoon storms and heat. We're going to go ahead and knock it out. And it's the same times that we worked out over the summer, so the kids don't have to change their job schedules. And um, so we'll practice once a day. And we'll practice about two, two and a half hours. And uh, my, my thing is I want to get these kids home. They have lives. Our coaches have families. I want to get, you know, we're going to work while we're here. We're going to, we're going to work our tails off while we're here. But once it's over, I want them at home spending time with their families. The only game I see right now is Phillips Simmons. 
that's the only game I see right now. We're going to prepare. You know, we got scrimmages with Wando. We got a four-way scrimmage with uh, Creek Bridge, Hemingway, and Loris, and us. We got the car with Bay Jamboree. But right now, my main, what's on my mind, is Philip Simmons. Who's all your coaches? Well, we have Coach Coleman. He's uh, the strength coach, and he'll be calling the defense. He's from Ohio, and he's been doing a, a jam-up job in the weight room. We have Coach uh, Abram. He's from Philip Simmons. He's our offense coordinator. He'll be coaching running backs. And uh, once again, he's a special ed teacher, and he's he's really good. Coach Reisman is is probably the most fiery guy we got on staff. He's he came from North Carolina. He's coaching our wide receivers and our DBs. Um, Coach Cromley, who was back from last year, he's going to be heading up our JV program and also helping with the offensive line. And we got a, a coach coming in in August. He just had surgery. Uh, Brian Atkinson. He'll be helping us as well whenever he gets through his surgery. Carver's Bay second. What is the? What do you consider? When I was growing up, it was always Georgetown. Andrews was the rivalry. Mm-hmm. Is Carver's Bay considered the rivalry? Is it Andrews still? Is it both? Or it's all three. It's all. Three. Uh, and Welcome I, I left Welcome yeah. out. It's all three. And um, you know, you always want to be the top dog in the county. And so you know, you got to beat Welcome You got to beat Andrews. You got to beat Carver's Bay. And the thing is, they're all such different football teams. You know, Walking Law is going to run some spread. Andrew's going to have the eye, and they're going to run veer. Carver's Bay is just going to, you know, pound it right down the middle and run spread and try to run around you. So, it, it, all three are the rivalry. It's just, you know, Carver's Bay has had that, that tradition of being really good. And so, you know, if you could beat them, then it, the outlook's a lot better for the other two. Well, what's our season going to be like? Yeah, what, are your, what are your expectations? My expectation is that the kids do the right thing. You know, I, I preach to these kids. Our, our motto is BAM, B-A-M, be a man. And, you know, to me, yes, we want to win and we're going to be competitive and we're going to work hard and we're going to do everything we can within the rules to win. But my top goal is to coach the person first and the player second. So I want these guys to learn discipline. I want them to learn um, showing up on time, being team players. Um, good sportsmanship. That's that's my top goals, and then the winning comes comes next. But if I can get these kids, there's a quote by Dabo Swing that I, I I love it. It completely envelops what I want to do, and it says you can win, win, win. But if you're not training these men to be great husbands and fathers, you lose. And that's what I'm passionate about. That's what that's my goal.